exercising the hobo demon on today's shave of the day and you're watching barber dave's shaves and such hey everybody barber dave here um a rare saturday shave because i don't know whether or not i'll be doing any more shaves this uh weekend uh those of you on the cadre know that i have been sick um since wednesday and uh, thankfully, it's not COVID, uh, just some really nasty flu bug. This is actually the first day that I felt halfway decent. But the more important thing is, is that I have not shaved since 5 o'clock Wednesday morning. So I've got about uh, three and a half days worth of growth. Can't see it much. I have a light beard to begin with. But if you look closely, I can. But it's mostly because... Uh, at my chronological uh, time in life, uh, the whiskers come out transparent and white. So it is very coarse, but it is uh, light. Okay, so what are we gonna shave with today? First of all, I wanna uh, send a shout out to Sean Gilchrist, uh, one of my, um, one of the subscribers here on the channel. Uh, he was nice enough to send me a care package and he figured out he knew my wheelhouse and it's Noble Otter Jack. Now this has a lemon lime, juniper, gin uh, it's just it's perfect i mean it's absolutely perfect i have shaved with it once before uh wednesday right before i got sick uh the brush we're going to be using today is a paladin chief uh this is one of the old collaborations between ken at paladin and lee sabini and it has a blonde badger in it uh the razor we're going to do to mow down all these whiskers today is a cv helgestrand mk32 which has been stropped 30 and 60 and we'll go over all the other stuff later so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, this uh, illness I had, or still have, uh, was more or less almost a stomach flu dash thing, but it 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 kicked my tail end. Um, for me not to shave, uh, it has to be pretty bad. And for me not to be in the shop, because as a business owner, if you're not in the shop, you're not making any money. Um, so for my clients that watch this uh channel i do apologize for any inconvenience but there was just no way i was going to arm myself with razor sharp shears and a razor knowing that i'd have to run to the lavatory every five minutes so uh so yeah so today is the first day that i'm feeling uh somewhat better i'm hoping i can get back to the shop on wednesday uh looks like i should be able to but uh it's been a it's been a rough one And my good buddy, Nurse Dave, as we've been talking, he did indicate that sometimes COVID can present with a really bad uh, gastrointestinal issue first. So I made sure that I have been testing. And fortunately, I have been uh, negative uh, each time I've tested. Um, the Noble Otter soaps are just fantastic. For those of you who have not tried them, you need to. Uh, this one is just amazing. The lemon-lime notes that come out of this right out of the gate. Almost a 7-up, but not sweet. Uh, and then you start to get the juniper and more of the boozy gin notes as you go forward. And as is typical with uh, Noble Otter, the soap lathers just incredibly. Um I apologize if I'm a little less than uh, top form today, but uh, I'm uh, actually leaning up against the counter because uh, I've been feeling pretty, pretty weak uh, throughout the uh, thing. But I wanted to at least get one video and I had to get rid of the hobo demons. And uh, that's what that is. I've been a complete hobo and not shaving. So we're going to exercise these hobo demons and get a good shave. Uh, I cannot remember the last time that I went four days without shaving. So we'll see how this goes.
This is also one of the main reasons why I chose this razor today because it mows down almost anything. So far, it's actually pretty smooth. I expected it to be a tad bit rougher. And I'm sure my good buddy Matt, Lukey3262, is laughing his proverbial butt off. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of the... The hair growth gene. Because I know some people, including Matt, that after four days, um, he's probably a Wookiee. Nurse Dave, too, I would bet. Okay, let's see how that first pass went. Actually, really well. Really, really well. So, first and foremost, I want to thank Sean Gilchrist for sending this. And the ironic thing is he lives uh, in the Colorado area. And so he sent this right after the new year. And, we, you know, we were both thinking, ah, oh, two days it'll be here. Well, <laughs> it actually went from um, Aurora, Colorado, Denver area, to Phoenix, to Tucson. And I was really excited. Then the next day, it was in Rochester, New York. Then it went from Rochester, New York, to... Uh, where else? Buffalo, New York. Sat around Buffalo for a few days, then went back to Rochester, back to Buffalo, back to Rochester. And fortunately, Sean was able to get a hold of UPS and uh, found out that it, apparently it got sorted in the wrong bin. And it played pinball in the back east. And then finally it got going again. And I got it uh, last week. So from January 4th till then. But it was worth it. It was definitely worth the wait. I would say that the alum is probably going to light me up a little bit because the hair follicles have been able to root, so to speak. I was... I was going to go one more day but with not feeling uh, really up to par, I figured. I would shave while I felt good. Hopefully I'll feel good enough to do some other shaves this weekend.
I know the argument can be made that uh, many folks say, oh, if you let your beard grow for a few days, you actually get a better shave. Uh, that's a matter of opinion. Uh, I think you can get a good shave either way. Now, is it easier uh, when you have less growth? Sure. So far, just a wonderful shave. But anyhow, again, I want to say thanks to Sean. As he didn't send me the full set, which is uh, Noble Otter Jack and uh, the uh, aftershave to go along with it. And it is really in my wheelhouse. I love it. Sadly, oh, and it also has a wild mint in it, uh, like a spearmint. So there's a couple of different EDTs I can use, including Flores 1962. But the one that I found that matches real well is a Zaro mint. And that's what we'll be using today. I would have liked to have used uh, Penhaligon's Juniper Sling, but I am completely out of it. I need to reimburse that. It does feel good to shave, though. I got to tell you that. And to exercise the demons of Hobonel. I've been lax uh, in the description section, but please make sure that you check out all the guys that I usually post with. Also, another reason I chose this razor is that, again, number one, it can mow down pretty much anything. But secondly, it's a razor that I respect more than any of the other ones I have. There's a reason why she is called the Queen of the Den. And that is because she accepts not being second place in anything. So uh, I guarantee if I would have waited and shaved with something else tomorrow, uh, she would have found out about it and I would have been in trouble. And yes, this is not the fever talking, uh, but I do give my razors personalities. And the reason why this one is the queen and why she expects respect is she's give, she gave me the worst injury I've ever had in razors. In fact, so much so that I needed uh, stitches. So we have a, a very interesting relationship. A little bit of cleanup as I expected today in the neckle area a little bit more so than normal because of uh, all the stuff I left or the fact that I didn't shave I should say.
I also uh, wanted to thank everybody that had commented and watched the or should I say my latest uh, barbershop shave from inside the shop. Uh, my client Jim was kind enough to allow me to film, and believe it or not, that was Wednesday before I got sick. That night is when it really is when it really hit me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And that type of shave is really the type of shave you should be getting anytime you go to a barbershop. Because the shave itself, especially if it's coupled with a haircut, is not inexpensive. So in my opinion, those of us that are keeping the tradition alive need to do so in a professional manner and give the best value uh, for the service. Okay, well, that's the three passes. Let's see how we did overall. Definitely dolphin smooth. Now, the key is how much did I irritate my skin? Actually, surprisingly, not that much. I mean, there's a little bit of a bite as I expected. I haven't shaved with a straight razor in almost a week, but absolutely hardly anything. So that, you know, obviously uh, pays well to the honing. Yeah, I pat myself on the back. And then also the razor itself. Again, CV Helgestrand MK32, one of my prized possessions. Don't shave with her that often, but uh, it's nice to do that. Also, the one thing about the Noble Otter soaps is, is the lingering um, fragrance uh, is really there, which makes it very nice as well. Also, with this flu bug, I've been eating very bland items. Uh, chicken, you know, uh, boneless, skinless chicken with white rice with no spices. Now I know what a dog feels like eating kibble. And luckily for Kona, El Doggo, the real wily coyote, he may start getting fresh pet because of it. Um, again, the brush today is a palette in chief with Lee Sabini uh, Blonde Badger. Uh, the soap today, of course, was Noble Otter Jack. There's Lemon it goes real well with everything. I wish Thayer's made a, a lime. That would be nice. Although I do have Thayer's lemongrass uh, at the shop, and most of my clients seem to like that a lot. As I said earlier, uh, the uh, fragrance notes um, on the jack are uh, gin, uh, mint, uh, wild mint, uh, juniper, lemon, lime. So just a wonderful, wonderful uh, fragrance. I don't know if they make an EDT to this. I haven't checked on their site, but I will probably pick it up if they do. However, on the aftershave, not as much on the soap. The soap has more of a juniper, gin, lemon, lime type. The aftershave comes across lemony and limey in the beginning. But then it uh, starts to dry down with a nice mint, a wild mint. And um, that's why I'm going to use uh, the Azara wild mint for our EDP. Uh, we're using Clubman talc today, way too much. That's the beauty about Clubman. It's inexpensive. Okay, and again, uh, for the EDP, we'll be using Azaro Wild Mint. This is a very pungent spearmint, uh, and it, I think it's got some hints of peppermint in it as well. 
uh, but just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Strong. It reminds me of those power fragrances um, like Polo Green, but just mint. Um, it's it's not as refined as uh, Floris 1962. Uh, it's just pure straight mint more than anything else. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for joining us for a special Saturday edition of Barber Dave Shaves and Such. Uh, I do uh, apologize if I don't get any other videos done. Uh, this one kind of took it out of me, but uh, it's so nice to have a clean shaven face again after four days. Anyhow, thank you so much. Please make sure that you smash the like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, and we certainly appreciate you being here, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you so much.